Welcome to Norway and Rudskogen and the Porsche Festival 2023. We're here to watch our friends race a little bit, but we're also here to look at some incredible cars. There is all kind of Porsche cars here. A lot of people just got in here for free with their Porsche, parked everywhere. But we also got this like Porsche museum-ish thing with some really iconic cars, some really crazy cars. So I'm thinking, let's take a walk around. Let's have a look at all these cars and just see like, we, we got some insane things here. We got a bunch of newer and older Le Mans cars here. So we got this Le Mans car from 1990, an older version, but looks absolutely insane. Then we walk over just a little bit to the side. We've got another one. You probably saw something in the background as well. We've got a GT1 from 98. These cars are absolutely insane. They are huge. They're probably pretty fast, but then what you probably saw in the background, we've got the newer one. Look at this one. I'm pretty sure this is the current one they're driving. Not fully sure, but this is absolutely nuts. Look, look at this. Look how small the actual like door to open to get inside the car is. It's, it's interesting. Can't be easy to climb in and out of that. Then we've got this. I'm not fully sure what this is. We got some type of a prototype car. There's not really any information about it. it. Only says like 72 Porsche on the side, on the front. It's an interesting car. And it seems to be like the whole front of it just opens up instead of having a door because it doesn't really seem to be just a door. And I mean, I would love to see this drive, but I'm not even sure if it is possible to drive at the moment from the Porsche Museum. Looks cool. But then we got some of the more exotic cars. We got the Carrera GT. This car is extremely special. Like, look at the back of it. What is this? It looks cool. It looks crazy. But if we're gonna up this one, we got the newer one, the 918 Spider. This car, I would love to be in at some point, you know? Imagine driving or just taking a ride in this car would be absolutely insane. It's from 2015, so it's not completely new, but I'm not sure they have anything newer than that. For something completely different, we got Dakar, 911 Dakar. Like, imagine driving this in the desert. It's not really what you're thinking when you're thinking Porsche, but it's cool that they have a little bit of everything. This one is from 1984. The 911 Carrera Paris Dakar. I don't know, it's really my taste of a car, but it looks cool. And this one is actually a 2023 911 Dakar. So I mean, we got the new one, we got the old one. It's cool to see the difference of how much the cars have changed throughout the years. But then we have this thing. This is something that is really cool as well. We have a bunch of different cars. Like we've got the newer cars on this side. We've got the older cars on this side. And if we walk in here and look, there's mirrors here. And what we can do here is, I'm gonna see if I can get it to work decently. So we stand here. You can see, like you see the old parts with a new car in the middle. So you can kind of see like how it looks and how it changes. It's kind of hard to get a good look of it here. You can kind of see it there, how it like changes between it, thanks to the mirror. But if you 
So William has driven both his races. He started off with pole position in both races. He won the first one super cleanly, lost the lead in the first corner, but it took it back after like two laps and just pulled away. Second race was a bit rougher. We found out afterwards that both the competitors like around him had new tires, he didn't. So one of the guest drivers of this weekend did pull away in the start and pull away all the way. The other driver that William was competing against, her car broke down at like the last lap. So unfortunately she couldn't finish. And that means a second place for William, the first and a second place. I'm still impressed of everything this young man is doing and I just think that he, he can do so much more as well. So let's just wish him good luck. He got two races to go this season. He already won the championship, but Let's, let's end it with two more wins, right? Let's do the best out of it. And look at this GT3 RS. Damn! I'm not sure if the camera really does justice for the color. We've got all kinds of cars here. We've got old cars, we've got newer cars on the other side. It's everything from cars from like the 50s to, I mean, we have a bunch of like GT3 RS up here. Then we've got a Porsche with a roof tent. we got, you know, the GT3 RS, another GT3 RS. What could we have behind here? Could it maybe be a GT2 RS and another GT3 RS? Another one. Like, just look at this, they're just lined up. And on the other side, we just got more cars. Like this is one of the most crazy tiny cars I've ever seen. It's a replica. It got even two gears and reverse. It got the clutch in here. So it's literally possible to drive as a real manual car. Never seen anything like that. We saw it drive earlier. It doesn't go fast, but it's cool. I mean, look at these though. We got more of the like old, race cars crazy builds we got this 917 from 1970 this car is insane we even got a registration plate and everything it's not every day we see the martini logo on the cars anymore but we actually got a newer model here and of course we also got an older one both with the martini logos this is really old school liveries and i love to see these like old school turbo s with some extremely clean colors the black with the yellow stripes the yellow porsche on the wing clean looking car for sure we also have some more cars pulling out here this might not be the coolest car in general here but i actually love this color it's like pink metallic something i don't really know what i would call that color but it looked super clean it's like it's the opposite of it popping out but instead keeping it on low key but still looks great and the funny thing with all of this like all of the cars we've been looking at here this is literally just parked along a go-kart track so usually there's just go-karts driving on this track and then we have the large track for the cars that they're racing today like around it so this is middle of the actual track super cool also looks like a super fun go-kart track so maybe we should go here sometimes it's not that far go here have a race with some friends could be super fun oh look yellow car Woo! is it just me or does this not fit together like we got this old school porsche and then these rims and tires i guess just something that doesn't put it together for me should be more old school rims for this car for sure but i mean you do what you want to do if you like it go for it that's gonna be an end to today's video it's been an amazing day here at the track a lot of cool cars hung up with some family members some other fun people that i met here as well hope you guys enjoyed what we got as well 
the car content. I mean, we're getting towards the end of the summer, so car content might be lacking a little bit. Trying to pick up a bit more of the eSport content and go on with that instead. Got some fun plans coming hopefully soon and we'll see what happens. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.